All right, guys. So one of the secrets to being a busy working mom, everybody says, how do you always like do it? How do you do it? Balance. So um, one of the tricks is to keep like an extra set of all of my makeup in the car because a lot of times um, while I'm waiting for the kids to come or I'm waiting for them to get ready or dropping them off somewhere or at a red light, <laughs> you know, you got to, you know, touch things up and uh, make it happen. So. These are some of the stuff that I have with me. Um, I'll tell you the first step usually after, obviously I do all my skincare stuff at home. So sunscreen is usually already on. And um, I use a couple shades of um, the MAC um, concealer. This one's NW30 and NC35. I usually put the um, NW30 on first. And this is a trick um, one of the makeup girls at the counter taught me. So I'll basically like, you know, get this on. I know all of these like professional makeup people use brushes. I don't get that. I don't get it because you're wasting all of that product. I do use a beauty blender just to put powder on at the end, but I just use my finger because I'm not a makeup artist and I just need to get it done. So I still have some of the stuff on from this morning. Boy, I did Pelleve under my eyes this morning. So I still have some of the gel. That looks good. So we're going to be going um, to do a video shoot and because I did a treatment under my eyes this morning, I didn't put any makeup on. So on our way there, just going to get this done. So I put the pinkish one on first and then this one's slightly a lighter color and I kind of use it to like start the highlighting process. So I sort of do it in that triangle and then blend it out into my um, upper part of my cheekbone. So I'll sort of put it on going down, under, right on my bone, not so much up, and, up until, up onto my lash line, but just, okay. So already better. And then what I do is, um, this is MAC uh, powder. What color are you? I don't even know. Medium dark, because I'm black. I really am. My skin behaves the same way, so. I consider myself a connoisseur in pigmented skin inside and outside of the office. Okay, so I get a little powder on the beauty blender and then I just sort of set it. Okay, a little bit more. Get the excess off on the cap. Go in and sort of set that under eye concealer. I do is I will get some blush somebody gave me this narcissist palette which is really cool cool because it's not too like white for me um, I find a lot of times with dark skin it's really hard to find something that doesn't look super chalky so I like this one all right done then I use the Mac hyper real glow it's the darker one obviously because I'm black so, getting a little glow where light hits. One of my favorite places to put um, is on the top of my nose, and then right here on the cupid's bow, and on the chin. Done and done. This one's awesome. This is such a trick because I'm like bald in the front of my head. This is called Color Wow. Okay, and it's basically meant, I think, to cover your grays. But what you can use, use the hard part of the brush and you get a little bit of color. And like, um, it's not so bad right now, but I'm literally bald right here. I need a hair transplant, I'm not joking. So I literally sometimes will just color it in. Um, I've seen people do it, you know, on the sides of their head, like here too, but I don't really care about that part. I just care about this part because I don't like pulling my hair back and being bald. So, color wow. Now you guys know everything. Okay, I have nothing to hide anymore. Um, I use this color chameleon by Charlotte Tilbury. One of my patients gave it to me because she's a makeup artist, but I love it because it's kind of like a goldish. Um, it's not really pretty. It's like a gold, bronzy, shimmery kind of situation. Um, and then I put a little under the eye. I 
kind of done. Okay. And then another secret, which I love. It's not so much of a secret, but these um, lash primers are really awesome. It's basically just cornstarch. Um, but I think it makes a big difference. So I usually just like give myself a little bit of old eyelashes. And then you go over it with your mascara. And it really makes them look longer and plumper and you don't have to keep putting mascara on 500 times. I am a big fan of Latisse for eyelashes. Honestly, I don't think anything else works. Uh, Latisse, you put it on every night or morning and night for like a month and then your lashes are literally hitting your sunglasses like you can't wear the sunglasses anymore. <laughs> so then now I just put it on like twice a week or so just to maintain the lash length, but I don't want them any longer than this or else I literally can't wear sunglasses, so. There's the eyes, very uncomplicated. And I do like a little bit of brow gel. Can't go wrong with a little brow gel. So I usually just get the tip of it up there um, where it's got a lot, brush them up, brush these suckers up, and then just a little whoop, and a little whoop, and you're done. I think it makes a huge difference. Um, on camera especially, or in photos, to have well-groomed eyebrows. All right, as far as lip stuff goes, I got this new lip liner while I was in New York from the store called Kiko, and I call my son Kiko as a joke, so we were in Miami, and I found the Kiko store, he was with me, and I'm like, Kiko, oh my God, that's your name. So he's like, it's my store. Um, so we went in there, and he literally walked out looking like a glowy, pink diamond because he was putting blush and he was putting glow all over himself. He's like, ooh, pretty. So, Kiko, but it's actually great, really affordable. Like, I don't know how they make money, but like this thing was $8. Um, and it's a brown, and my makeup artist taught me this about brown lip liner can really help um, with sort of contouring the lip. So it looks super scary right now. The first time she put it on me, I was like, what? What are you doing to me? How cool is this? I was like, how do I open this Chanel stupid thing? You push it in and pull it out. It took me a minute. morning routine, five minutes, bam, ready to go, it'll be good if you know, the hair was done, but much better, right? Okay, so let's head out, looking like a million bucks, let's do this.